Good morning guys, how are you doing? Good afternoon, good evening. Ah, oh my God, I'm doing it, I'm actually doing it. Feeling, feeling weird. Like kind of like anxiously, but like excited. Um, so, if you have been following my journey for a while on Instagram, on YouTube, you should know that I have booked a little solo trip to one of the places that I've always, always wanted to go, and that is Yorkshire. Don't ask me why. Um, number one, I do love the accent. I find it incredibly attractive, I'm not gonna lie. And I've always wanted to go there. And especially with what happened last year, 2020, coronavirus, one of the biggest questions I got asked every single day is how are you staying so positive? How are you staying so motivated? Um, like, how do you do it? Teach me your ways. Like, I'm living on my own. Like, I need help. How are you doing it? And number one, very flattered. Thank you so much. All the support, as always, means the world. And it was hard for me to explain it. Like, it was hard for me to explain it. Like, you were seeing me every day, like, like pushing through for you guys on online. Like, trying to keep it as upbeat as I can. But I thought... Even now, people are still asking me the same question. And I thought, what a bloody good idea. F or an excuse for me to go to a place where I've never been, bring you guys with me, I'm on my own. Um, I'm going to a place I've never been before. I'm in a stage of my life now where I'm like, do you know what? There's just me. I have the most amazing friends and family ever. I'm so grateful, so lucky. But it's just me and I want to be able to show you guys that you can like enjoy your own company, love your own company, just do what you want to do. You don't have to rely on anyone else. You don't need no man, you don't need no girlfriend. Like I keep rushing things and I'm like feeling pressure to do things and I shouldn't be doing that. Like I'm young, free, single, like, I'm not going to have this time again, I'm not going to sit around moping and wait, like waiting for someone to sweep me off my feet and like get my life on track do you know what i mean it, like you don't have to like you don't have to have a significant other to feel complete is what i'm saying some people do and that's absolutely amazingly fine also i see a lot of things on tiktok where young people like really young are saying that they don't have friends they feel left out they feel like they wish they were invited to things and it honestly I'm not gonna get emotional because I probably will cry a lot in this video I don't know why but it honestly like I resonate with that so oh my god why am I getting upset already <clears throat> I actually resonate with that a lot like especially in school like I always I was definitely the odd one out even though I like knew everyone I was friendly with everyone and sometimes I just still do think I'm the odd one out but I am surrounded by amazing friends, but I feel exactly how some people feel online. When I was younger, I felt like I was always waiting around for someone to invite me out. Or is that that classic thing? Like you really know who your friends are if, if they wait while you have while you do your shoelace up, or if they just walk ahead. I don't know. I always used to think that, and I was just like, oh my god, if I just did my shoelace and they just carried on walking, would they even notice that I was gone or stuff like that? It was fucked. And I see a lot of that online. I see a lot of lonely people. So I wanted to do this for them. I wanted to do this for you. To say, if you want to go somewhere, if you want to do something, do it. Just have the confidence to do it. No one is going to care if you're on your own, if you're whining, dining. Everyone's got their own story. Everyone's got their own journey. Oh my God. <laughs> the last couple of years have been really hard for everyone. It doesn't matter what background you have, whatever, what lifestyle you have. It's been hard for everyone in different ways. So yeah, I'm doing this for you. Going to Yorkshire, which is four and a half hours away. It's 10 a.m. I check into my hotel. I have done this once. I went to Berlin on my own for a, with, a, when, with NCS. I don't know if you guys remember that. But that was completely mapped out for me. I had everything booked for me, in a sense, from what I can remember. I think, I can't remember actually, if stuff was all planned out for me. 
but this I only have my hotels booked I've never been to either of the places Whitby and York we're just gonna wing it we're just gonna see what happens obviously classic mark I've forgotten everything so I've had to drop around my parents house to get stuff sorted <laughs> um, and then we're off on our way we're off on our merry way okay team we are the off about, take the second exit to Morton Hall Road it's um, 10 30 a.m. Like I just said, oh my god, Teddy was so weird with me. It was almost like she knew I was going away. It's It was so weird, like how she was. Like, she was so excited to see me, and then she was, like, like sad that I was leaving. I guess because I was there for, like, two seconds just to grab some stuff. Um, but, yeah, 10.30 a.m., the sat-nav is saying that we are going to get there for... Two, <clears throat> excuse me. Two thirty p.m. That's how am I going to mute that? Because that's so annoying. Um, yeah. So the sat nav is saying two thirty p.m. How many hours is that? Four and a half. I'm not sure. Got all the podcasts. Got all the songs lined up. I've got my brain. We're gonna go through some things in my mind. I feel like it's really important these days that I just sit. Like the other day, I went for breakfast in the park on my own. I was just like, I'm reflecting on things. Like it was really nice. Um, it's good to just like go through what you're grateful for because especially with social media you're like you're always like exposed to other people's lives and it's easier to be like comparing your journey with others when it's like no like I grew up in a time where I didn't have that I just didn't know what was other people were doing with their lives at the roundabout how funny but no I hope this whole I hope this works I, in our favour. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get it, if that makes sense. I hope you understand why I'm doing this, like, for me as well, but also mostly for you guys. Because I didn't know how to explain, really, how to enjoy your own company. So, uh, yeah. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. So guys, we are an hour in, and oh, the traffic has been a little bit wild, the weather's been a little bit crazy, feeling good, I've got my, uh, <laughs> I've got my comfort thing on, that's making me feel less anxious. I don't know why I feel anxious. I feel fine, but I feel a little bit like apprehensive. Just, I don't know. Like I just do. I can't help it. Um, but I'm very excited. I am so excited, but I'm a little bit like trying to catch my breath sort of thing sometimes. Um, I'm like that when I drive on long trips as well. I want to get like to the halfway point. So about like half 12. So another hour I'm going to pull over get some petrol shit get some petrol and uh, get some snacks maybe a little coffee we are halfway there we are just pulling into the services this place has a Starbucks drive mother fudging through <gasps> there's a Waitrose here there's a bur I, I was I literally saying the other day I haven't seen a Burger King in long like tell me there's a bloody wait what there's no petrol station here Okay, so there's not actually petrol. Oh yeah, there is. This is cool. Never seen this before. Help yourself, Starbucks. Today we're covering Tommy Lynn cells, known as the Cross Country Killer. I'm here with my co-host Vanessa the what? Hi everyone. You can find episodes of Serial Killers and all other Spotify what? originals from Park. <laughs> we are in Yorkshire. Bloody made it, it's eight past two. It feels like it's seven o'clock. It is so dark, so gloomy. We've just got an, literally an hour to go. We've just passed Doncaster. It's just gonna be the country air. I bet I will be asleep by 8 p.m. tonight. I can tell ya. Just something about me and being in the country air is just so good for me. I just sleep like an absolute kitten. Um, but no, yeah, an hour to go. Got some Becky Hill on. Maybe if I change the way I love it. Maybe if I try to fix this He's 
it's only bloody arrived in York. Oh my God, guys, we did. Wow, that house is amazing. We did it. <gasps> oh, we're, five, we're three minutes away from the bloody hotel. Why am I so silly? Honestly, I'm just like such a mess these days. This is like a lot. I just want to hear the accents. I want to get involved. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm pretty happy. They have a Londis here. It is so beautiful. So beautiful. So guys, I don't think you can see me, but I wanted to film my first reaction to the hotel room. I just had to lug this up two flights of stairs. The people here are so lovely. Wait, where am I? I'm in like a little weird corridor thing. See? Oh, oh it opens this way. A, a weird corridor thing. I wanted to get my reaction to the room. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Hello. Oh my. Look at this room. Scary. Keep that open. Oh, this is so nice. Bloody hell. Well, there's a little garden out there. This is so cute. This is so nice. So this is called the Lion and the Lamb Inn. And it is literally in the heart of York. Wait, oh no, the Fat Badger. I'm not sure. Yorkshire tea. There's a little fan in here because I always get so hot. Right, I'm ready. Had a little wet wash. Joking. Who's ready to explore York? Me, me, me. Mm. Mm. It's raining, of course. In fact, the Queen, Carter Mandua, was one of the few Celtic leaders that actually sided with the Romans. Look out, here she comes. That I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel So guys, as you just saw, I just did a little bus tour around York. I didn't realise how haunted it was. It is. Uh, that was so cool. I couldn't really speak because there was a woman on the microphone and I felt like I couldn't really like speak over her. But no, that was amazing. The, the, the city, town is so beautiful um yeah no i don't know what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna carry on walking and see what i find because she has someone who makes her happy i'm a ghost in these walls or at least i try to be because i hope that i'm not showing how i feel for her like I've got a whisper but this is the cutest place I've ever been to do I do it I'm tempted I'm tempted Diagon Alley that looks like Nocturne Alley more like spooky of all the things I forgot to pack guess what I've forgotten deodorant so I'm on the hunt for deodorant and then I think I'm gonna stop off somewhere find a cute little place Maybe get a little coffee, maybe something to eat. So yeah, just trying to find some links. <laughs> Yay, got it, it's my favorite one. So I've got my mask on now, even though you don't, even though you don't necessarily need it outside. But um, it is so cold here, my eyes are watering, and all my concealer and fake tan has uh, gone down my face. So we're gonna go back to the hotel. <laughs> we're just gonna touch up quickly. And then you know what? I think I'm gonna have some food and drink at the hotel, because it looks really nice. So I'm back in the room now. It's so hot. This jumper has so many holes in. I've just sorted the, um, um just sorted the Wi-Fi out, which is good. So I can fall asleep to me rain sounds. So yeah, I just fell over on the cobbled streets, uh, believe it or not. Literally, but people are so nice here. They're like, are you all right? And I'm like, don't think so, but we'll get there in the end. Yeah, Lynx Unity. So it's their unisex 
deodorant, which I just love. So I'm just gonna touch up my concealer because who needs a streaky purse? Hey guys, how are you doing? So I'm sat in the fat badger. No offense to badgers. Um, I've just ordered a little Merlot and this steak and also some tempura prawns because I just love prawns at the minute. So I thought I'd do that, gear myself up for loads of walking for the ghost trip. Um, yeah, just sit. I've just sat at the back of the the pub. I feel like I've got a whisper here. It's crazy. Like I feel like I'm too loud for this place, but it is honestly so so stunning. But yeah, just surrounded by loads of groups of people, and I'm just sat at the back of the pub, like. But no, enjoying it. This is all about enjoying your own company, doing what I want to do, taking each moment as it comes, appreciating life. The food looks really good here. So I think it's like. The place I'm staying at is the Lying, Lion and Lamb Inn, but the restaurant is called the Fat Badger. But it's stunning. There's loads of like things around. Um, yeah, I'll show you when. So, um, I was ahead. I'll show you when the food comes. So, just gonna sit and watch YouTube. I think. Go over my thoughts. Just see what happens. So here are the prawns. Crop. So update, I'm in love with the waiter because he came over and he was like, mm, do you want dessert? And I was like, mm. I'm not really a dessert person, but you've got an amazing accent, so okay, fine. So he was like, I recommend the Sicilian lemon tart. So I went for that, and then he also was like, oh, do you like rum? And I was like, mm-hmm, like rum. And he was just like, oh, I just got a rum, and I want to give it to you for free. You probably feel sorry for me because I'm on my own. But we'll see how that goes. Rum, I'm not like a big rum drinker. I never drink it. I used to drink it at uni. I used to have like Malibu and orange juice and then I used to get really bad diarrhea. Um, so I stopped that. But um, no, I'm excited for this. Really wish I filmed that. He literally came over and he ex explained the whole rum. This is rum. I didn't know what to say. I was just like completely in love with his accent. So he said if you want to cool it down, he just said that this was like 50, 50 dollars a bottle. I'll put some ice in it, honey, if that's alright. Love you and your accent. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You're just supposed to do it straight. I've been here 10 minutes and someone's already trying to get me drunk. Oh, wow. Oh my god, that is so nice. God, that is amazing. God, tastes like regrets. So this is the Sicilian lemon tart, poached on it, orange and cream. I can't pronounce it, I've forgotten it, but yeah, this is it. That food was so good, that was so nice, just sitting on my own. I'll tell you what though, the little windy staircases and the cobbled streets do not get on with me. I've said it. I just fell down the bloody stairs as well. I only had one glass of wine and a rum shot. I've got massive feet, look. Can't even do it. <clears throat> massive. Everyone is so nice here. I can't deal. I'm ready to party. Okay guys, let's go and see what this ghost tour is all about. You know me, I love my spooky stuff. So it's cash only. Why is it not focusing in York? Um, he's lost. So, it's cash only. So, I've got... can't remember the last time I held a note. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to find the place again. So yeah, it's pretty dead. Like, I don't know what the time is, like seven-ish? But it's completely empty. I definitely feel like I've gone the wrong way. Um, but yeah. Here's the money. We're gonna go on the ghost tour. I couldn't book it online. I hope it's not a scam. I hope I don't die. 
but um, the person at the pub seems to think it's legit and it looks fun, so let's do this. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Yes, and welcome. Are you in there? Show me a sign. So it is quarter to nine and I have just finished up at the ghost walk and that was so fun I felt like I couldn't vlog that much. Um, I actually was on the tour with some of you guys um, which was so nice. So Izzy if you're watching this lovely to meet you and your friends and also I teamed up with another girl who was on her own as well. She's doing a, like a massive solo tour and I was like this is what I want to do now. Uh, but yeah I am literally like buzzing it's quiet though because obviously it's a monday night but i think i'm just going to head back to the hotel now and just chill have a cup of tea and uh yeah kettles on cozy lights oh here we go oh, oh. what an absolutely beautiful spontaneous day guys thank you so much if you made it this far Tomorrow, I'm tired. <laughs> Tomorrow, exploring more of York, and then we're off to Whitby. How much is <laughs> Sorry, let me check. <laughs> I want your money, honey. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Um, uh, oh my god, I slept so well. Honestly, so well. So well? so well blackout curtains i'm gonna be so sad leaving this place i'm not ready i just had the nicest night's sleep now i'm just gonna do some exploring i have to check out at 11 and the time is nine so i've got two hours to just do a little bit of exploring um i'm gonna get some food a nice little coffee because the only thing i will say not that i'm addicted to coffee or anything all the sachets in here a decaf and I don't really know if I feel the effects of coffee I just think that if I'm drinking caffeine I'm gonna be more like sprightly oh 9 a.m. bells are charming chirping chirp, chirp, chirping so yeah I'm just gonna head out for some breakfast um, so many of you guys I need to say because obviously in real time on Instagram the response to this has been insane like incredible and i can't thank you enough i was a little bit unsure if this was your sort of thing if you were gonna like it but oh my god you guys have just once again surprised me um so coffee culture brewing brownie oscars and betty's calf tea rooms is the places i need to visit before i leave they're all food places but apparently they're in Incredible. So I'm gonna start with coffee culture and get some coffee and uh, yeah, so her name was Alicia, so thank you so much Alicia. I really really appreciate that. So I'm gonna get some coffee. Sun's out It's even more beautiful in the Sun in the Sun. So from the ghost tour yesterday I didn't know how much I could film but apparently that's where Guy Fawkes went to school which is just crazy, and it's still a school today. Here it is, first stop of the day, coffee culture. So this is where I'm gonna be having breakfast today. Just got served by two lovely viewers, so thank you for that. Oat latte, pan chocolate, fresh out the oven. Oh my God, oh fuck. Cheers. This place looks so cute over there for next time. The vanilla calf can sit out. Oh my god, imagine this on like a weekend. The uh, the reality of <laughs> solo travelling. You gotta set them shots up. This has serious Diagon Alley vibes. Oh pigeons, they follow me everywhere. Goodness me. Oh. Oh. Wow. I'm 
getting tracked. No, I'm getting waylaid. Imagine this of a night with all the fairy lights. I feel sick. I love it here so much. I'm definitely gonna come here for like a month, I swear. A little Christmas shop. That's what I like to see. I'm actually really excited for Christmas this year. Look at this Zoe. Almost there. Yeah. So excited. This looks like we're in London in that street. That little, I don't know where it's called in London, but looks very London-y. Oh, here we go. Look at that. The thing about travelling on your own, you can literally just do what you want, when you want. And uh, yeah, she's that. Wow, look at this, guys. Eggs Benny. No, Eggs Royale, this is. There's Betty's tea rooms. Guys, I'm absolutely stuffed. I cannot eat anymore. That was so nice and so reasonable. I came to like 16 pounds. Um, but yeah, I'm just about to go look at the shambles because those of you who said it's very Harry Potter esque. Um, so yeah, shambles and then back to the hotel, pack and leave. Oopsie. I might have just gone into Space NK and bought that TikTok viral Brazilian crush body mist that everyone's gone wild about. Um, but yeah, it's actually very busy now. Everyone here is just so lovely and just so nice. It's got complimented on my eyelashes, which was really nice. This is the shambles market, and apparently this is what... What's going on there? What's going on there? Um... This is what Harry Potter was based on. Well, Diagon Alley. I thought that was Philip Schofield then. But, um, yeah, cute. Diagon Alley. Harry, where are you, Harry? I'm in Diagon Alley. Look at this. Where's Ollivander's? That's what I want to know. This is so cool. Oh. Ghost Merchants, loves it. <laughs> oh my god, there's actually a Harry Potter shop. No way. Oh my god. Also, I've met so many of you and you are honestly about my day, like giving me uh, ref giving me like recommendations where I should go. I'm so sad to be leaving. I should have done two days here. But um, I'm heading back now to the hotel to check out and it's time for Whitby. Ford Oscars, apparently that has the best cheesy garlic bread. Don't ask me, I'm just a tourist but from what I've heard. Um, okay, definitely coming back here. Um, but yeah, got to go back now, got to check out and then head to Whitby, which I'm so excited for. Oh, my brain, all right. Bye room. Thanks for the most amazing night's stay. Hi guys, how are you doing? So I've just collected my car. We are ready to go to Whitby. Just wanted to say, because I know so many of you are going to ask me about this. Um, this, oh my God, tell me I didn't leave it in the hotel. Oh, it's him. That spray. So this spray went viral on TikTok for being the most like gorgeous smell. So obviously as a smellaholic, I was like, I'm going to have to get some. I actually really know. I'm actually really familiar with the smell anyway, but I didn't know. So it's the Brazilian Crush. Um, they have like a bum bum cream for the bum. And uh, this was 18 pounds. Got it, oh, shit. Got it from Space NK. And it literally smells like the most beautiful, luxurious, Kind of sexy, creamy, coconutty holiday. Right, let's plug this in. Also, I got a crystal. Okay, so I got a crystal from a crystal shop. I walked past it and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna treat myself to a crystal bracelet. Here we go. So this is a carnelian crystal, if you're interested in crystals. Protects against evil, emotional, envy and rage, enhances your inner talents and skills, stimulates precision and analytical capabilities, increases self-esteem, concentration and perceptiveness. Bye York, thanks for having me. Ta-ta, till next time. So 
guys, I've just pulled over on the side of the road. Can you see the horse? So yeah, I've just pulled over. There's like a little parking bit and I'm just admiring the bloody view. So one of my favorite things about doing this on my own is that you can literally just, I'm sure you could do it with someone that you love hanging out with or like one of your friends or whatever, but just like, not having to make, I know this This sounds quite selfish, but it's not supposed to be, some, this is not supposed to sound selfish, but like you can just pull over on the side of the road, get out, take a few photos, do a little dance, do you know what I mean? You have complete control and it is so liberating and of course I would love to come back to York with my friends. But honestly guys, you gotta do it. If you're like, oh, should I book that trip on my own? I've always wanted to go to York. I've always wanted to go to Amsterdam. I've always wanted to go here. Let's do it. It is so liberating. I was a little bit nervous, apprehensive at the start. And now I'm just like on the side of the road in North Yorkshire, taking photos of horses carved into the side of the hills. Loving life, oh my God, you gotta do it. You gotta do it and Oh my god, it's just honestly, I'm never gonna stop solo traveling now. Okay, so I just did another like spontaneous detour. This place is called the Oaks Lake. Oh my god, magpies everywhere. Do I, where do I park? Look! Oh my god, this is so nice. This and my other tripod has been a godsend um, because I can literally just put this anywhere, put my phone in it. So that's how I've been getting all my content. So anyone who wants to go away solo and is like, oh my God, I want photos, but doesn't know how, that's it. Just pulled over again. Oh my, this is like a little plane. Just pulled over again because I wanted to take a little picky. So if you're seeing this vlog, Make sure, to, make, sure, make sure to go to Mark Ferris on Instagram and give it um, a nice little... Is that poo? <laughs> Is that poo? God, I love how I was just promoting my Instagram next to a pile of shit. Um, so yeah, just wanna take a little photo here. How nice. seeing loads of little farms and you know what that reminds me of nobody escapes from Tweedy's farm <laughs> guess that okay I can see with me nobody escapes from Tweedy's farm that's my Yorkshire accent um, and it is of course chicken run one of my favorite films we are at the bloody seafront all right who's gonna be having cockles and works for dinner Woo! Wow! Oh my god, I'm emotional. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Like, happy emotional, but like... What the hell is that? Couple of legs. What's that up there? Couple of legs. What's going on up there? I'm so happy right now. I'm in Broadchurch. Sorry, Mark, calm down, calm down. I'm very excited. Very excited. Is this it? This is it. Royal Hotel. Where do I park? Where do you want me? Sweetheart. Where's the parking? That's what I want to know. This is the proper seaside town. I mean, I'm not being funny, but if this was central London, the car park price would be a million pounds. This is six pounds. I'm just going to pop my little bum hole in here. Is that all right with everyone? Just want to squeeze it in. Right. Okay, cool. So guys, just arrived to the hotel. Just waiting for my room to be ready. This is the view. How oh, nice. That's it. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Oh, oops. My God, this is my sister's worst nightmare. 
This is my sister's worst nightmare. I feel like it's mine as well. God. Oh. Here we are. Okay, wow, all right. Love the high ceilings, look at that. Gorgeous, I'm so happy. Oh, I love it, cute. Is that Zoe? <laughs> so this is the hotel guys, Royal Hotel. Just on the seafront, here we go. Pigeon poo everywhere, follows me everywhere. Ooh, creepy little tunnel. This is creepy, but I love it. <gasps> so guys, I'm on a mission to get some lunch because I haven't eaten that much today. I had my little salmon thing, didn't I? Little egg royale. That was ages ago, so uh, yeah. I really want seafood so much. Um, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna see. I feel like I'm on holiday. This is so crazy. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, Marky Ferris. This is literally my worst nightmare. The smell of the sea. I feel like I'm in bloody Broadchurch. vibes from uh, that film that you know I may talk about sometimes I feel like that should be my next little solo trip to go to the house to go to the hotel that the witches were filmed in this is terrifying this is so scary hold on to your phones This is a bit of me. Hey girls, come over here. I'm literally gonna cry. Seafood, oyster. Okay, we're ready for the oyster. Traditional, on the sea. I chewed it. <laughs> I chewed it. You're supposed to swallow it, but I chewed it. This is a bit of me. Did it. I made it guys. Right at the top. <sighs> made it to the top guys. Whippy Abby. Guys, I found a little patch for me to sit, take it all in. I feel I feel so good. I honestly feel so good. I uh, ugh, I'm dramatic. I'm a little bit dramatic, but I feel like I'm a little bit lost for words. I just feel so liberated, so free. Look at that view. And also, can we mention the weather? Yesterday was like black at this time. It was like so dark. But no, I am so zen and content at the minute. I've met so many of you and that's just made the trip like a million times better. Just wish I was uh, staying for longer. I miss York. Whitby is absolutely stunning. It's like a proper little town. Like, this is Whitby. If that makes sense, obviously. Um, yeah. Down we go. Oh, 
I will never get over this view. Imagine living there. Imagine living here. I want to retire here. Okay, it was 10 times worse walking down them stairs. Some guy assumed that I was counting how many steps there was and tried to put me off. He kept shouting random numbers and I was like, honey, I'm just trying to walk down these stairs without breaking my neck. I'm not bothering counting how many stairs. No. Why? Oh my God, fuck you. What do I do? Is there any way I can walk past? God, you're brave. E, my God. Psychos, a lot of them. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. <laughs> There's a man at the window just throwing breadcrumbs on my head. Bloody hell. The Fuzzy Dog Bakery. Eddie, if I knew it was open. 13, 14 year old Mark would have been all over this stuff. Hmm, probably still is, but love it. Here we have one of the most iconic ice creams going next to the sea. Thank you very much. Mint chocolate chip. Hotel's just there. Sea's there. Oh yeah, that's it. Made it onto the beach. With my ice cream. <laughs> wow. This is amazing. Hi guys, so I have just gone. I need to trim my hair. My hair's getting out of control. So guys, I have just gotten ready for this evening. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Apparently there's a quiz on at the hotel. Might have to get involved. Might have to, Ooh, the lighting's not that great. Might have to get involved, might have to lose as usual. I'm feeling good, I feel like I'm on holiday. I feel like I've been in the sun all day. I will keep you updated on what I do. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything. Might just go get fish and chips, see the sunset. perfect video to the perfect trip just me listening to my movie music and the sunset I feel like this is like the perfect end like we're gonna get emotional and I'm not um, guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a massive thumbs up let me know where you want me to go next and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed it love you so much take care goodbye <music>